look at that. How tricky is that? Mint. We're impressed, aren't we, boy? Oh, definitely. The next big problem is power, and that means taking out the Trabant's original engine. They must have had small hands, these Eastern Europeans. That's all I can say. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, that's my fingers. Oh, sorry, boy. Sorry, sorry. Ah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, boy. I've still got all five. <laughs> Sorry. The tiny two-cylinder, two-stroke engine only produces a pathetic 26 horsepower. And with time now running out before the race at Brands Hatch... I've got, the, I've got, I've got the light end. I've got the light end. Guy needs to find more power quickly. There you go, boys. Engine, gearbox and diff all in one, there. Didn't take a lot, did it? <laughs> There's our man Bart, the Bartman. Now then, Bart. Morning. How are you getting on, mate? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Hey, come on. You all right? I do. You got here in one piece, then? Yes, I got here. Good man. Take a look. Thank you. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, was, it, was this your spare engine, then? It was not my spare engine. It, it was an engine I could spare. Right. There's a, yes, there's yes, yes. I understand. <laughs> Bart's had this engine for five years. That's a word. And it's the same basic block as the one Guy and Cami removed from their Trabant. And this is an extra transfer it's port? A, it's a third port. Right. But it's had various modifications, all designed to make it produce more power. The hell of a lot of work gone into that. So that is a brilliant job. A brilliant job and a big increase in horsepower over the old engine. Order around, we reckon that's going to be about 20 horsepower. 26, 26, and then this is going to be at least 60. At least 60, so it's a massive gain. With the brand's hatch showdown now fast approaching, Guy still has plenty of work to do to get his Trabant up to full race spec. And right now, that means fitting it with some new sporty footwear. We're going to put some wheels on the Trabant. For racing, that means much bigger wheels and tyres. That was bigger. Hopefully get us around the corner a bit faster. That's the plan. Well, it was much rubber on the ground as possible. But we're not going to go very fast in a straight line, so we need to make the most of what we've got. And what we've got is going around corners, so we need to make the most of that. So keep the throttle wide open, keep on trucking. Obviously, these fellas aren't going to go in the arches. Misery. So I'm going to make a bit of, a few modifications. After cutting a big enough hole for the wheel to fit in, Guy then measures up to fit an arch. And it's not just to look good. As for the rules, the wheel's got to be fully enclosed. Unless you're open-wheeled. Which is what that's on. It doesn't cover many categories. Is it our Formula One, Formula Two? Yeah, well, this definitely isn't open ones. So if you get the wheel set out there, it won't pass through near me. And it looks tricky. Having used locators to check he's mounting the arch in the right place, Guy rivets it on. Look, I'll show you. Oh, we'll, wait, we'll waste one. That rod is tied to that ball at the end, so it pulls that ball up to this flat face here. You see? One down, three to go. Very much like a race car. The right wheels, steering wheel, bucket seats. Yeah, get in there. Finally, after six months' work and now in full racing livery, Guy's Trabant is ready to leave the garage. They started out with a 35-year-old, 26-horsepower relic of the Cold War. And now they have a very smart 60-horsepower racing car. That's a lot of work. Hell of a lot That's of work. That's a lot of work. Totally different car, isn't it? The shell is the original. Back suspension arms are original. Other than that, everything has changed. Everything. Everything. The steering wheel, the steering column, the engine, the gearbox, the front suspension, the brakes, the wheels, the tyres. That's it, isn't it? A lot of work. A lot of work in not a lot of time. All that's left now is to test drive it on a local airfield. All right? Yeah. To start with, Guy takes it easy. A short shakedown, just to check everything's working. She sounds well, doesn't she? I think he's just trying to get used to that column change as well because it's, it's actually on the steering wheel just where the actual gears are. Got a 
an intermittent rear light fault as well. Then after a short pit stop... The well, suspension's come loose. Out like that, nothing's melted. And a refuel... Let's go again. He gives it the beans. Oh, she's wound up now. <laughs> Looks like a little dodgem car going around the car. It's that Diddy, isn't it? That's a lot faster than Trabant we watched on that video. She sounded well, didn't she? Nimble as out, really nimble. She could. If it went as well as it handles, we'd be laughing. Guy's souped up Trabant is built, tested, and ready to race. Next stop, Brands Hatch. <laughs> 